for South Africans, but, but also African students, meaning a Capricorn TVET, a future strategy planning will accommodate a, not only South Africans, but also a, a African students. Priority number two, it entails collaborating with vocational colleges from other African nations to create postgraduate support programs. Then uh, let me move to socio-political and educational landscape. A, in socio-political context, a, like I've mentioned, uh, when I was touching the South Africa and African content, a continent, the issue of unemployment. Still here, a, in this uh, social political context, high youth unemployment uh, is a persistent issue with, uh, like I've mentioned, 4.9 million. They are unemployed according to Statistics South Africa. TVET College is in line with National Planning Commission's 2012 guidelines are expected to contribute to skills development and job creation. So Capricorn TVET uh, strategic priorities uh, includes forming new industry partnership. We all are aware that a Capricorn TVET College uh, is in contact with local industries to form partnership for our students to be placed promoting experiential learning for graduate employability uh, and introducing annual entrepreneurship initiative like uh, Entrepreneurship a Day to instill entrepreneurial spirit for self-employment. Remember recently we're having uh, competitions uh, for students uh, to participate to show uh, different business skills. So Capricorn, TVET College uh, strategic planning will move uh, forward in ensuring that uh, students, they are equipped with business skills. South African educational uh, terrain is undergoing constant transformation with recent uh, developments, including an expanded educational access through NSFAS. That's point number A. A, a search in e-learning, remember, uh, 2020 were all affected by uh, the, pand the pandemic, COVID-19, and it's changed uh, the education system, not only in South Africa, but globally. So that's a uh, number B, and the rise in student protest. We, we can see even in my picture, I'm demonstrating here, Students, sometimes they focus on a uh, protest. Uh, we all know very well that uh, recently uh, our campus has experienced a severe uh, violence where students were protesting. So in response to these changes, Capricorn TV strategy uh, will prioritize in involving and launching a distance learning program for broader vocational education access in response to the above issues that I have mentioned. Uh, and um, promoting open communication between college management and students to address the impact of student protests. Sometimes we know that a uh, some students uh, that uh, are, 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 are not attending a, 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 a tertiary education, they can influence those that are attending. So to address uh, the number of students that are not absorbed by universities and uh, TVET colleges, we need to uh, open distance learning. Therefore, uh, this will assist our uh, uh, TVET colleges, not only Capricorn uh, TVET College. Then let us look at the international trends and mega trends. Regarding inter international trends, UNESCO recognizes the significance of public-private partnership. 
I will call them uh, triple uh, P. Invade colleges and promote effective triple P's globally, emphasizing the need for a supportive framework. In alignment with these trends, Capricorn Tivet uh, strategy uh, will prioritize in including nurturing triple P's with local, national, and international firms. That is our first priority. Uh, and then uh, we'll also establish a framework for memorandum of understanding MOUs for student exchange program programs with sister and international colleges. We all know recently that a, one of our mechatronic students, I was there for a send off. A, he was awarded an opportunity to further his studies at uh, United States of America, Kentucky. So uh, we are achieving that, that dream already and uh, we will continue to send more students uh, globally. Then uh, let us also look at the global uh, transformation where we'll embracing uh, technology in education to enhance online learning and an administrative processes, ensuring Capricorn TV remains at the forefront of a digital advancement. I know at the moment we are using Student Hub. A staff sometimes they are still resisting because uh, this is new to all of us, but we know that with uh, continuous support, uh, the Capricorn TV College will uh, remain at the forefront in terms of digital advancements. That will come true. For now, we might struggle, but uh, I know that a, a, in terms of supporting staff, we will make it. Then sustainable development will incorporate sustainability practices into curriculum, preparing students, uh, for the increasing demand for environmentally conscious skills in the job market. Then globally, uh, we'll foster international partnership, like I've mentioned earlier, an exchange program to provide students with a global perspective and enhance their competitiveness in a, a borderless job market. Like I've mentioned that one of our Mechatronic a student a, is uh, studying a, at United States of America at Kentucky. Then a, let us go to the dual approach. According to Winch 2006, the German dual system is the best example of vocational system that flourishes in secondary and post-secondary settings. The dual approach to vocational education aligns with Capricorn Tivet College's vision and mission statement, which emphasizes the provision of high quality and career focused education that meets the need of local municipalities and industry. Let us look at the regional, the reason for the dual approach to vocational education. The dual approach in vocational education integrates classroom theory with practical training, often in co collaboration with local businesses. Uh, recently, Capricorn TV College, with uh, student support, a deputy principal innovative and uh, development uh, they were there to strengthen the partnership with different industries, of which the event was a huge success. So um, often in collaboration with local businesses or an apprenticeship, enhancing student uh, attractiveness to potential employers. So that uh, was taken from Stevens uh, 2017. 
it fosters a deeper workplace understanding and aligns with career and technical education, CET, a principle supported by the US Department of Education a, that was taken a, from uh, US Department of Education 2020, as well as empowering students to succeed in a competitive job market and adapt to involving workforce needs. Then let us move um, to uh, the advantages of dual approach. We know that when students um, also study a uh, theory, you know, go out uh, to, 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 to do practicals, it will give them advantage where they will see what uh, currently the industry uh, is doing as well as uh, the, 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 the equipments that the industry uh, is using. Because if students are not um, going out uh, to see what industry to do practicals, it will disadvantage them. So the advantage of dual approach uh, to vocational education combines theoretical classroom instruction with practical on the job training, providing uh, uh, our students with necessary technical skills and hands-on experience to be job ready upon graduation. By the time they are graduate, graduating, we know that uh, they will have experience. They will know what is happening in the industry. At Capricorn Tivet College, both students and lecturers, they are participating in WBE, workplace-based experience, and work uh, integrated learning will programs in co collaboration with various partners around the province. Then uh, let us move to to uh, the before I move to the smart objective, I want us to uh, I want to take you through to the reasons for dual approach to vocational education. Uh, the main reason is to make sure that we empower our students to succeed in a competitive job market and adapt to the uh, evolving workforce needs. So moving to my smart objectives, uh, the SMART uh, goals uh, that uh, I want to focus is to establish partnership with 50 local businesses by 2028 for hands-on training and also increase vocational students' industry-specific experience at the moment, uh, one of our section mechatronics is struggling because industries around, they were not aware of the program uh, mechatronics. Now they are aware because we are going around explaining what is mechatronics and what the things that they are doing uh, in such a way that uh, many companies, uh, they've offered to place our students uh, for WBE because now they understand what is happening. So another uh, smart goal is to implement curriculum change by 2025. So when implementing the curriculum, it is very important that we also include lecturers, senior lecturers, head of department, a curriculum, and DPA so that uh, as well as uh, examiners and uh, moderators. We normally exclude examiners and moderators when implementing the curriculum. That uh, will come to an end because whatever curriculum uh, uh, that needs to be changed, it's important that we also involve examiners. Then we'll also launch a career exploration program by 2026, uh, hopefully by 80%, and we'll evaluate 
annually to ensure that 60 to 80 in fact i would like to say uh, 60 to 100 but i want to be realistic of graduate find employment within six months by 2028 that, that, that is my dream and it will come through advantages of uh this a uh, a uh, uh, it will ensure that a uh, Capricorn TV places both uh, students are uh, a, 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 a places students a uh, for work purposes as well as making sure that those students that won't get a uh, 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 job opportunities they will uh, create a, a their own job opportunities so that is my objective and then uh, we will come to expanding mechatronics and ITC robotics. So uh, expanding mechatronics and ITC robotics to NQF level five within the next three years. So the action plan, we know that A will uh, need to upgrade our lecturers will need to uh, 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 take them for training to provide training and professional development uh, for lecturers to ensure that they are well equipped to teach at the higher level. Uh, the equipment upgrade. At the moment, we do have equip equipments, but some of equipments, we, we are changing them. They are updated will prioritize updating outdated equipment to enhance the quality of education and training. Uh, for market outreach, will increase marketing efforts to attract new students and build partnership with local industries to support the program's growth. Once uh, 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 we increase the local industries, it's where now we'll move globally. Then let us look at the risk factors. So for the entire strategic plan, uh, I know that there will be risk factors, there will be challenges. Uh, let me share and elaborate on these challenges that we may encounter. And uh, at the end, we'll look how we can a find solutions. So for economic challenges, the high youth unemployment rate in the region poses a risk to Capricorn Civic College objectives to eradicate joblessness and, and, and enhance certification and graduation rates. So uh, economic instability may limit job opportunities for graduates. The power the power outages and infrastructure, the campus vulnerability to power. Uh, uh, we know that we experience load shading from time to time. And uh, I know that uh, we are also planning to install solar, solar panels uh, that can also pose potential risk to the continuity of teaching and learning. The success of this initiative and their impact on student experiences may vary. Administrative issues, an uh, issue related to the disembursement of funding as experienced in the Limbombo province and other Tibet colleges that led to many strikes could impact the college's uh, financial stability and its ability to provide quality education and work placement for students. Limited internet access. At the moment, Capricorn TV College is trying its best to ensure that all corners of campuses, uh, students, they get good quality of uh, internet access. The challenge of limited internet access in rural areas may hinder the effect effectiveness of online and blended uh, teaching and learning. I'm very passionate about uh, online and blended teaching and learning. 
Uh, but if our students are over holidays or recess, they go home and we know most of them, they are coming from rural areas. Uh, this uh, may hinder the effective of online learning. Uh, also potentially affecting the college effort to enhance academic excellence. Political engagement, the trend of students being more politically engaged than academically focused may impact the college's ability to maintain a focused and conductive or conducive learning environment. I have mentioned earlier that uh, one of our campus uh, was affected very bad uh, by uh, students' uh, involvement in politics. It's not wrong for them to join this movement, but um, we need to come up with a plan on how they, 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 they can participate without disrupting teaching and learning or vandalizing infrastructure. So the issue of host employer shortages, the risk of not finding enough host employers for students in the dual approach to vocational education could impact the quality of work-based learning and job readiness. The issue of certification and graduation challenges, given the difficulties faced by TVET colleges, not only Capricorn TVET College, in improving academic excellence and throughput rates, Capricorn Tivet College may face challenges in achieving its objective related to certification and graduation rates. Financial vi viability, while the college aims to improve its financial viability, there is a risk associated with the budget allocation and the revenue segment. Ensuring financial sustainability may be a challenge. So uh, let me uh, look at how we can address these risk factors. To achieve uh, its goal, Capricorn TVET College uh, will need to address and mitigate these risk factors while capitalizing on the opportunities uh, presented by its dual system approach and uh, partnership with industry and global sponsors. So implementing flexible career guidance and job placement services for graduates to, navig to navigate economic instability. Uh, it's a solution that can assist Capricorn TV College. Invest in backup power solutions. We know that sometimes generator needs diesel and diesel is expensive. Sometimes uh, we get uh, a, a challenges where we ran out of diesel and it affects teaching and learning. So investing in a back up power uh, will uh, uh, be a, a, a very important solution for teaching and learning. And ensure solar panel maintenance for uninterrupted teaching and learning. Expanding internet infrastructure and provide offline learning options to mitigate limited uh, internet access. Also to also negotiate with different service providers uh, when we are uh, 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 using different uh, platforms of online learning to give us zero rated a, 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 a platform. Like uh, we know that Vodacom uh, and MTN, they are issuing zero ra rated a SIM cards where students can log in without having data. We need to also increase that and foster open dialogue and channels for students engagement while maintaining a conducive learning environment. It's also crucial. Establish partnership with a broader range of host employers to ensure consistent work-based uh, uh, learning opportunities and to enhance academic support and guidance program to address certification and graduation rates. We know that we are doing well. Uh, Provincially, we are sitting at number one, but when it comes to graduation and throughput rates, 
uh, we are still struggling. So we need to uh, enhance academic support and guidance and develop a robust financial sustainability plan that addresses budget allocation and revenue diversification issues. So all uh, this um, is uh, crucial for me to achieve my future or my dream a Capricorn Tivet College, a new upcoming strategic plan. So in conclusion, Capricorn Tivet College is on a path of growth driven by a commitment to adapt to evolving trends and need in education and the job market. The SMART objectives will guide our efforts over the next four years, and the business plan sets a clear path for expanding mechatronics and ITC robotics to NQF level five and many other programs like the upcoming hairdressing, hospitality. There are so many rich programs that we are offering here at Polokwane campus. So I am excited about the future and the impact we can make in providing high quality education and opportunities for our students. Thank you very much for your attention and for your support. I would like to uh, take you through to our recent activities uh, that you can also uh, go on our website to view. Like recently, we had an innovation and in skills in Daba where students were showcasing different talents and um, also uh, there are students from hospitality that want a laptop and tablets and also one from uh, ITC Robotics. I remember very well how excited were our students. So meaning uh, we are on the right track to ensure that our students are uh, they don't only uh, obtain uh, a, a, a soft skills, but also business skills. We are encouraging them uh, to be creative. And uh, I have shared with you that one of our mechatronic students, uh, I did the send off for him where he was offered a, a scholarship to study at USA through the College Community Initiative CIC program. He's not the first one uh, to go abroad, but will send many, many students. I remember recently I wrote a letter to Siemens South Africa because when I attended uh, the contest session at uh, University of Pretoria uh, July, July, August, yes, uh, a, I've met a lady who was encouraging Tivet Colleges a, to, 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 to go on Siemens' website. And also she offered uh, a, the email address a, where I wrote an email showing an interest that as we are offering ITC robotics, ITC all stream, as well as mechatronics, would like to form partnership with Siemens. And she promised me that uh, once they receive the email address, uh, they would love to contribute and to take especially female students so that they can place them not only in South Africa, but international. So I, 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 I strongly believe that I am going to achieve my upcoming uh, strategic planning. Then here are the references that I have consulted when I was uh, doing my strategic plan. So uh, this is marking the end of my presentation. And I would like to uh, ask uh, all the panelists 
uh, to give input. And I would also take this opportunity to ask uh, all uh, the panelists to switch on just for a few seconds. They are, they are um, a video so that uh, we can see one another and the university will also appreciate if we can um, a, 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 a open uh, the video uh, just uh, for us to to, 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 to to say final goodbye. And I will also give you this opportunity. I know that uh, I had one hour, but because of technical challenges, we started 10 minutes uh, late. Then uh, I believe that at half past four, uh, my uh, presentation will be cut off automatically by the college system. So let me take this opportunity to thank you all and uh, uh, give you an opportunity to comment, to give an input, any comment and uh, positive uh, a, a criticism is welcomed. Thank you very much. Any question? I see the hand of Mr. Sobola and Mr. Fontaine, madam. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm also trying to uh, open the video camera. Okay, thank you, Ms. Msutu. Uh, St. Fontaine, you can go through. Uh, good day, ma'am. I just would like to congratulate you on a excellent presentation and um, we are excited about the future of this amazing new college. I also just would like to remind the people to maybe in the chat box just um, give their names so that there is a re register of everybody who attended. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you so much, uh, Mim Fontaine. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Jessibula, my mentor, uh, noted. Yeah, uh, thank you very much, ma'am. I'm not sure if I'm audible enough. Uh, I'm on the road. Uh, I had to to leave to work early to consult. I'm not so well, so but I'm, I I hope everybody will hear what I'm saying. Um, let me start off by appreciating uh, a rich, uh, actually a very rich presentation, well researched, and uh, what. Uh, comes out strong from the presentation is the, the incorporation of dual approach uh, into your strategic planning. It was quite clear. And uh, also the striking of the balance between the local and the international you know, trends to ensure that much as we want to address the immediate challenges that are facing the local communities that we are saving, but we also want to compete internationally and uh, uh, the other issue was uh, uh, touching on uh, partnering with other african state uh, tvet colleges so that uh, we are not out of context uh, in terms of uh, the african landscape so um, i really uh, uh, you know appreciate and applaud you for that and uh, uh, with the presentation that you have done, uh, I'm sure you will actually uh, achieve high scores on your strategic plan. Uh, that's all that I wanted to say. I was listening very attentively uh, from introduction to the last slide. And uh, thanks very much. Job well done. Thank you so much, Mr. Sibula. That is our mentor who is mentoring us. Uh, he's doing a great job. Uh, colleagues, uh, we are surviving 
I won't say we are doing well because of him, but we hope uh, we're going to bring him love because of him. Thank you so much, Mr. Sibula. Uh, another hand that is up, Mr. Mfupa. All right. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you very much, ma'am, and thanks for the good presentation. I would wish your, your dream college. Um, as you know that most employers are very scarce to be found. I would wish your dream college uh, to emphasize uh, short courses like uh, the head raising that uh, you indicated that is going to be introduced so that uh, all those students that are finishing those courses can have their own jobs, not uh, seeking any, uh, any employer. We just you keep all your workshops so that they can have um, accreditation from the uh, CITAS and uh, you have everything. And after, uh, um, after having those students, then they should just uh, create jobs for themselves. Um, maybe you, you think about uh, cell phone repairs as well. Uh, it's it's a simple um, uh, it's a simple course that they can uh, do um, do and uh, later on they uh, they can have uh, they can um, assist uh, the community uh, with the with the repairs of, of the cell phone. Thank you very much for the good pr presentation. Thank you so much, sir. That was our DP academic. Uh, I took notes, say uh, thank you so much. And I believe uh, that you will assist with uh, ensuring that our, our laboratories are well equipped. And thank you so much. Uh, the next person, uh, I can't see hands. Uh, the next person will be me. Just to okay. say congratulations on a very wonderful presentation. Well done. Thank Thanks. you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much to all the panelists. I, I have emailed you the Google form where you will rate my presentation. Okay, before I close, I'm seeing a hand to a very wonderful uh, woman who is taking our students to another level. This woman is very passionate. Uh, she is a senior student, a support officer. Uh, over to you, uh, Mrs. Motlala. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Mabida, and good afternoon, colleagues. From Student Support Services, we just want to appreciate your presentation and we can see that the future of our students looks very bright. So our wish is that the plan do really come to pass because we can see the, the changes that you are uh, planning to initiate for the college. So this shouldn't just be for your studies, but of course for the benefit of the college. Thank you very much and wish you all the best as you will be uh, pushing this to come to pass. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Mrs. Mothala. Uh, any comment before I close the session? I know it's late and you've been a good uh, oh, uh, Mababa, Audrey Mababa, over to you. Uh, my partner in good crime, over to you. Yes, Mababa the senior lecturer for life skills and computer literacy. Thank you. Over to you, madam. You are noted, uh, Ms. Mababa. Can you unmute? I'm sorry, I, I did not unmute. Okay. I wanted to say on behalf of all your Juniors, ma'am, you are doing such a wonderful job. And I'm so much uh, impressed with the, the research and the presentation you have presented. A very well job done and congratulations. 
Thank you so much. That's uh, the senior for life skills and computer literacy. Thank you so much, Ms. Mapapa. Uh, there is another hand. Over to you. I'm seeing a hand. Okay, I believe maybe it was the hand that was up before. Uh, that is coming to an end, colleagues. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Bye. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. Bye. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, bye, colleagues. Bye. bye. See. Hey, Choka. Yeah. When I'm happy, I'm still recording. 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 I'm still rec